new video! Pogu Champu! Okay, so this epic game is supposed to be an Animal Crossing fan game. Quite cool. Equals a uh, new game. Here's a door! <clears throat> oh, hello, Detective! Thank you for coming here at such a short notice. Um, I'm sorry to bother you, but the town of. <laughs> oh, pfft. Hey! Nani? I can't say that word. Uh, Phallus. Uh, fa fa uh, p needs your help. It's usually a very peaceful place full of all kind of ki- oh wait. Kindness and joy. However, a few months ago, a boy named B B Boner arrived. He was immediately appointed mayor of P- And his uncumbency has been a tum tumultuous tumult 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 How do you say that? Uh, tumult tumultuous. At best. You see, I'm Mayor Boner's assistant, and I have a front row seat to his decision-making process. The town has seen better days to be sure, but the other villagers and I were getting along pretty well. Until last night, that is. Nani? This isn't public knowledge, but Mayor Boner has been murdered. Uh, wait, <laughs> what is this game? We need to bring the killer to justice immediately. Can you help us save people? Identify the killer of Mayor Boner? Wait, so I'm a detective? Okay, this is Mayor's house. Be sure to check inside if you can stomach it. All other animals are around town. Keep this in mind. The murder is a public knowledge man. Try to be inconspicuous and friendly. Search for the clues and ask around to see who might have had it out for the mayor. And come back to town when you figure out who killed Mayor Boner. Good luck. So apparently the, the mayor was murdered. It's time to take a, take a look inside and see how brutal this is. Oh my god! He's decapitated! Oh my goodness! Who are you? I'm just supposed to run the lost and found. Not trained to deal with shit, shit, shit like this. He's completely decapitated. Let's... Over here near his ankle, his foot was cut off as well. So whoever did this really didn't like that. Looks like he's missing a right hand. His head was hit multiple times and his head is completely decapitated. Bruh. Holy shit. What a way to go. He certainly pissed someone off big time. Let's check the desk. Some stationery, some with some special red ink. Nani? Okay, J for journal. Let's check this out. Looks like there's blood all over this paper, but I can't even read it. Huh? Uh, poor fuck. I don't know what he's seen. <laughs> Alright, uh, looks like there's some struggle. This couch was knocked over. Can't really interact with it. Hey! Hey! Jeez. Let's get out of here. Okay, I need to make sure I'm writing this down in my notes. Time to check out the rest of the town. What, what is wrong? What is wrong with your face? Um, hello there, sir. Hi there. I'm Squeaky. I like having fun. Bro? I can already tell we're gonna have a lot of f fun. F the fuck you? Excuse me, sir. I'm a detective. Oh, oh, Mayor Butter. We're best friends. F you. You even taught me a great new catchphrase. F uh, f you. He writes me on letters all the time too. Check out this really nice one. Here's Squeaky. You got a real. F Face, bro. I hate you. Die, 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 die. Why are you in my game? Please move away or just kill yourself, lol. You suck so bad, I hate you. From Mayor Boner. I feel like most people do that to villagers they, they don't like. So I think Squeaky is off the list, in my opinion. I don't think he'd murder him. He's too oblivious. Uh, he seems to have a nice, kind heart. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave him alone. Let's check down here, over down this way. A broken net? Nani? Looks like someone's a little bugged by this net. Ha <laughs> ha Let's go up here to this bridge! Uh... What is with the way these people look? What is wrong with you? I like your shoes though. Is this garbage? That's a lot of garbage! A conspicuous pile of trash. This is certainly not what I would call keeping the town beautiful. Hey, what's up, dude? Good morning. You may address me as Myrtle. Meow. And you are? The pleasure's all yours. We may become friends if you keep things nice and neat and tidy here in- <laughs> <laughs> Stop! That shit made me laugh! I have a great deal of respect for the office of mayor. It's their responsibility to keep this town free of weeds and other refuse. Mayor Boner has some great avant-garde avant ideas about, uh, about cleanliness and visual appeal. He does his best, though. He's even always leaving presents near my house. So these are presents, eh? So I like to presume that she's also oblivious since she finds these piles of garbage presents. Or maybe she was saying it sarcastically. We not, we're not too sure. Uh, can I enter her house? Let's take a peek. She won't me inside. 
Um, I'm a detective! What do you think I'm here for? Um, so far I don't find her to be too suspicious. Uh, let's take a look around here. Nani? What is this? This was a pretty nice shirt before the ominous stain. It seems to be a white polo. Mmm. The splatter seems right near the collarbone area. The mayor had a shirt on, and it does not match this whatsoever. So, this could be purposely placed here to try to frame someone, it seems. Let me check my journal. Squeaky has a nightmarish and awful face. Mayor constantly wrote mean letters to get Squeaky to move away. Or worse. I really don't I really don't believe Squeaky did it, you know? Myrtle loves having everything nice, neat, and orderly. Mayor never pulled weeds and surrounded her house with disgusting trash. Need more evidence before we can decide on anything, alright? Let's get a move on here. Wait, what is whose house is? Oh, you look pretty normal. Hey, hey there, Boofer. I'm Ursula. Pleased to meet you. You have a great time at penis. <laughs> Stop laughing! I love penis. If you want to be best friends with me, you've got a long way to catch up. Mayor Boner's the greatest, Boofer. He's always chasing me around, laughing, and trying to push me into the water. His favorite game is running behind me and bought me over the head with his bug net. We have so much fun, Boofer. <gasps> Oh, I see. Broken net might have belonged to the mayor. And since the net was broken, he might have just thrown it on the ground. Ursula seems like an average friendly person. Mayor consistently and physically assaulted her with the net. Well, she thinks it's playing, so... Since she thinks it's playing, it could be okay. There's one last person here uh, for us to inspect. Can I enter the house? Ursula's house. I can't, okay, I can't check inside people's houses without raising suspicion. You have to keep in mind that a lot of these people do not know that the mayor was murdered, and they aren't allowed into his home. Okay. Let's check down here, let's see what's going on. Ooh, nice pretty water. Okay. Uh, ooh, a duck! Hello, you, you know, my name is Dwight, and I love, you wear the finest clothes. I hope you become great friends, though you'll need to work on your fashion sense. Come on, bruh. What does your shirt say? Uh, for years, I wore the snazziest shirts. And Mayor Boner moved to town and made this shirt just for me. I wear it all the time because if the mayor makes a shirt, you should wear it. Isn't it a great question? This is not funny. Who would make a shirt like this for their villager? Okay, we'll leave you alone, okay? Okay, one thing I'm now realizing is that the net was snapped in half. It wasn't broken upon hitting someone's head. But I want to go inside and check the weapon again. Hmm, let's take a quick look at this. So, murdered weapon, belonged to the mayor, no prints on it other than his. Let's take another look at this again. Um, our evidence, a polo shirt with blood on it that happened to be placed in a very uh, conspic- uh, um, so a very interesting area. And then we have a blood-soaked letter and a broken net and some garbage. In my honest opinion, every single one of these villagers is completely oblivious and kind of stupid, you know? Let's look at let's look at the motives. Uh now mind you, the motives are written by me. Every single villager happens to like everything. Myrtle thinks the garbage is is presents. Ursula thinks that she's playing with the mayor when she gets hit with the net. Squeaky likes the letters and even shows it to me. And Dwight likes the shirt and that he's wearing and thinks that it's fashionable and epic. So it's it's really hard for me to act like I think it's any of them. I really think She's kind of suspicious. Hello, detective! Something's not right. It seems like everybody had it out for Mayor. And every citizen with the slightest motive happened to have a damning piece of evidence just lying around? It seems like you've attracted an awful lot of attention with your investigation. People are starting to ask about around about what's going on. I believe you I believe you left no stone unturned. So, detective. Who killed Mayor Boner? It has to be Isidore. There is no way it's any any of them. They're all stupid idiots. Well, I want to see what happens if you select the wrong answer. Who's the weirdest? No, Dwight insulted my shirt. Let's pick Dwight. Officer Fuzzy, bring me Dwight! Dwight! You stand accused of heinous crime of murder! Wait, there's no trial?! What? Uh, this is insane! What the justice isn't like this?! As you know, sentence of a murder is his death! May the gods have mercy! Uh, what is happening?! What are you doing?! You just... You killed him! Hey! Great job, detective! This... Uh, this game is cursed! Alright, let's see here. You did, Isidore! Well, I clicked it, didn't I? I clicked it! Please, come with me. Um... Here we are! City Hall, where it all began. 
Tell me, detective, what do you see on the walls? That's right, porches of all of our previous mayors. Notice one thing they all have in common? They're humans! This is an animal town! But every fucking time a human rolls up on a train or a bus, they immediately become mayor. That's true! Do you know how that makes me feel, detective? I've been the backbone of this damn town for years, but I don't, but I, but do I ever get to come to the mayor? Of course not. And Boner, he was the worst one of them all. His older sister was a mayor for a long time, and the town thrived. Flowers bloomed, friendships blossom, blossomed, and everything was okay. But, but then time passed, and she got older, and she handled the reins for her younger brother. You saw the state of the town. Everyone's moved away, and the ones that remain are too dumb to live. Oh my god. This is, this is dark. He even renamed it from Lovey Lovelyton to fucking Pass. There are people who do name their town stuff like that. He was childish and abused all of us constantly. It was only going to get worse and worse and worse. Someone had to do something, even if it meant sacrificing a local. What the heck? Wait, wait. So someone died? You killed? You killed a resident to... Bruh. I do wish it had come to this, but you have to understand. I'll do anything to save this town. And I won't let anyone stop me. Wait! What? I died? Is that it? I guess that's it! I I get shot and I die from finding out who it was! Anyway, anyways, guys, like always, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, okay? Bye bye! <laughs> Now stop with this tree over here Cause I know we need to get the light